Unpopular opinions. They're opinions that are unpopular. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been waiting to say that? I don't know why. The easiest explanation of a video I've ever done. Sorry, I, mate, somebody's got to laugh at my jokes and uh, it's going to be me, okay? So I got you guys involved. I searched the internet. I asked you guys on Instagram and Discord to give me your unpopular opinions. And these were some of the best ones I could find. Or worst, I don't know. We're about to see whether I agree, whether I disagree, whether you're an idiot, or whether I'm an idiot. I mean, I'm definitely an idiot, but that's, that, that, that's, that's a story for another day. I guess the most common example of an unpopular opinion is pineapple does not belong on pizza. Well, let me tell you, yes, it does. Do we have the clip? Let me just pull up the clip real quick, okay? I'm not even going to give my opinion on it because I've already spoken about this many times before. Just sit back, relax, and listen. Oh god, look at my fake tan. Wow, okay, sorry. I don't know if this is just the lighting. I don't know what's going on, but this side to side, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? Potatoes are the most versatile vegetable. Oh wait, that's not it. That's my love for potatoes. So sorry. Must keep going. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh my fucking god. I found it. Oh my god, this is better than the next. I just searched for five fucking minutes for this bitch. Woo! If you don't like pineapple on pizza, you don't have mature taste buds that understand that the sweet and the savory mix well together. Don't be an idiot. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Grow up. That probably was the most anticlimactic thing of your entire life, but trust me, that was all worth it for me. Oreos aren't that good. This one's just a straight attack on me. Like, first they're telling me pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, then they're telling me Oreos aren't that good. Excuse me, Oreos are delicious. Don't get me wrong, there is biscuits that are better. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. I feel like no matter what something as hyped as Oreo, there's always gonna be haters. And this right here is a motherfucking hater. I'm tilted. Okay, this next one, this one hits a little bit closer to home. Like. I would say that this chocolate is probably one of my favorite, and that chocolate is caramel milk. Pretty much it's a mixture between white chocolate with like a caramel kind of flavor to it. There was like this whole thing in Australia where they weren't selling the chocolate. It was like super limited edition. I bought it off eBay. I'm not gonna lie. I bought it on eBay. But they're saying the caramel milk sucks? You wanna go? You wanna throw hands? Let's go. Me and you right now, one on one. I would probably lose the fight, but I feel very passionately, passionate, passionate. I feel very passionately why can't I speak today? I feel some type of way about this chocolate, okay? It's one of my favorite. Right next to Reese's Pieces. I love Reese's Pieces. If you're gonna tell me Reese's Pieces aren't good, I would could lose my sh let me tell you that star wars should have been a horror movie okay i'm unpopular opinion i haven't watched star wars unpopular opinion movies aren't that good i said it i said it listen in my defense because clearly i'm gonna need one because i can already see the comment section absolutely roasting me i have a short attention span i have attention deficit disorder add so i really struggle to sit down for a long period of time and focus on a certain task so movies for me personally i don't really enjoy them unless I'm incredibly captivated by the story. Like I enjoy them once they're done, but while I'm there, I'm like, oh, do I really want to be here? There's so many other things I could do. Like, you know, pace up and down the room or tap my leg. I sound like a crazy person. I just want to tap my leg in peace. I cannot deny nor confirm whether I agree with the fact that Star Wars should have been a horror movie. I just want to make it clear. I am not the person saying these. So don't hate on me in the comments, okay? These are ones that I found on the internet. These are ones that you said. Women should be allowed to be topless as much as men. There is instances where I think it's unfair that that, you know, men can post their nipples on Instagram, but women can't. Why? A little bit of a yikes, just saying. I don't know, me personally, I, I wouldn't be topless the way that men are, but that's just personal preference. I guess it should be equal. I don't know, I'm not really, I'm not really too fussed. I, I understand why people want to free the nipple. Good on them, that's, that's your choice. I ain't free and no nipples. C-grade social media stars should stop acting like they're celebrities. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is this unpopular opinions or is this a fucking roast? I wouldn't even say I'm a C-grade. I don't know what it feels like to be a C-grade. I would say I'm probably D or E. E-grade celebrity, I guess. But we're not celebrities, we're internet people. Like, I don't think anyone I've crossed paths with thinks that they're famous or celebrities. I mean, I guess we are famous, but we're not celebrities. What is a celebrity? A famous person, especially in entertainment or sport. So maybe we are celebrities? I don't know. I mean, I got a million subs. Look at me trying to figure out. I'm like, am I a celebrity? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. Nipple piercings are sexy. I don't think nipple piercings in either men or women are attractive. Personal preference. I'm trying to stay on the fence with this one, like each to their own. Me personally, I don't really go for men who have tattoos. But I also, I still like tattoos, but I don't like too many. But that's personal preference. Some people people like heaps of tattoos. Look at me, I'm trying to get out of being canceled, okay? I'm just trying to like make sure that you guys know that this is all for fun. I'm not judging anyone's choices or decisions. You do you, personal preference, go for 
for it. You want a fucking face tat? You got a face tat. I just don't like face tats. I love how nothing is tattoo related and I've brought tattoos into it. I'm sorry. I have tattoos, just small ones. Like what? Why am I still talking? Okay, I'm just moving on. I'm moving on. Okay, I just want to say I didn't put this in here, but somebody said unpopular opinion. The boys are overrated. That is an unpopular opinion. Like if I said that, I would get flamed. Everyone loves the boys. They have such like a, a cult following. It is insane. I get it. They're beautiful boys. They're unreal, mate. But I can see from an outsider's perspective why some people might think that they are potentially overrated, okay? I said it. The boys are overrated. <gasps> Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. This one can get fucked, okay? This one, I feel some type of way, okay? It says sweet potatoes are better than white potatoes. Nah, I'm not doing it. Not today. Nah, I'm not doing it. I don't like to call people out, but if you, look at me, look, look at me in the eyes. If you are one of those people who prefers sweet potato over white potato, get the out of here. I'm joking. I love you. I'm sorry. But like, come on, dude. Potatoes are meant to be potatoes. They're perfect the way that they are. They don't need to be sweet. Pumpkins are sweet. Like, why did sweet potatoes exist, okay? Did they put this in here to actually trigger me? Because I feel very passionately about potatoes, okay? I'm literally spitting everywhere right now as I talk about this because I care a lot. I literally have the word potato tattooed on me. You think it's sweet potato? Nah, bitch. Nah. -uh. I'm sorry. I get really into it. I'm sorry, okay? I feel very passionately about about potatoes. Okay, this one's a bit of a yikes. Missionary is the best position. This one can come down to, once again, personal preference. I don't have a favorite position because I don't have sex, okay? F's in the chat, please. F's in the chat. Nah, it, I mean, listen, if, if that's what gets you going, that's what gets you going, okay? I'm trying to not on people who enjoy missionary. That's up to you. You do you. You do you. Or somebody else does you in missionary specifically. <laughs> Try to move this audience in a more adult direction. This is how you do it. Let's talk about missionary sex. Yeah! Christmas isn't the best holiday. What are holidays? Here in Australia, we've got Australia Day, which I think is pretty f***ing cool. Christmas. Is my birthday a holiday? Can we count my birthday as a holiday? Because I feel like my birthday is the best holiday. What, like New Year's, I guess, is a holiday? I don't know. Christmas is kind of the best one. We don't really have Thanksgiving, which I'm sure a lot of Americans probably think Thanksgiving is good. Is Halloween one? What is a holiday? Define holiday. A day of festivity or recreation when no work is done. Actually, it doesn't matter what holiday it is, because I feel like if, even if you count every single type of day that has any sort of celebration around it. Christmas is still the f***ing best holiday, dude. Santa's there. The reindeers are there. The elves are there, dude. Everyone's feeling good. It's snowing in America. It's sunny here in Australia. What more could you want, dude? Of course it's the best holiday. What is wrong with you? Ketchup or tomato sauce goes in the cupboard, not the fridge. This in Australia, this one's a sore topic. This one can cause some serious fights with family, with friends, you name it. From what I've gathered, the sauce can be in the cupboard until you take the seal off, then it's meant to go into the fridge once it's opened. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Cold sauce kind of tastes weird. Just saying. That's a personal preference as well. I think I put mine in the cupboard. I'm sorry to all those people out there who put theirs in the fridge. I should probably do it as well, but I'm pretty sure I keep mine in the cupboard. I don't really eat sauce that much, so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult. Beer out of a can tastes weird. 100%. Cider out of a can tastes weird. The best way to drink alcohol is out of like a keg where it's got like the aerated bubbles and it's cold as fuck. Next is a bottle and then is a can. Cans suck, dude. Surely that's not an unpopular opinion. Surely there are so many people that feel that way. So if I think it tastes weird, then it must be right, right? Vegetables are better than dessert. Shut the f up. I mean, it depends on what you're vibing for. Like, if you just want to enjoy the taste of something, dessert is always gonna be better. But if you want your body to feel good, trust me, vegetables will make you feel so much better. I have learned that the older I've gotten. Before, I used to be like, I love dessert. I love soft drink. I love chocolate. The older I'm getting, the more I realize that I need the nutrients. I need the veggies, okay? I need it. Room temperature butter is the best. True. So true. Like, I don't know if that's good for the butter. Like, if that makes it go off by taking it out of the fridge. But there there's nothing worse than trying to butter some bread or some toast and you put the butter on the toast and then the bread breaks because the butter's so hard. Oh, it's just honestly, it's disappointing. So yes, room temperature butter is the best. I don't think anyone is fucking trying to fight you on that. Who likes cold butter? Who likes cold, hard butter? Fucking no one, dude. Is it you? Well, if it is, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. There, I fucking said it. Nuts in chocolate is really, really wrong. Well, I mean, it depends on what nuts. I'm a fucking child. I'm a child. But yeah, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind some nuts in some chocolate is all I'm saying. Coke is better than Pepsi. Who thought Pepsi was better than Coke? No one thinks Pepsi is better than Coke. I'm just gonna say it. No one thinks Pepsi is better than Coke. Oh, 
I forgot. America has a much more of a Pepsi audience, right? Here in Australia, it's like Coke is the clear winner. It's like 90% Coke, 10% the rest. In America, I, I believe it's a little bit different. So I apologize to all these people I just offended, but Coke's better, okay? Okay, what is- is my employees writing this? There should be four weekdays instead of five. Liv, what are you trying to tell me, dude? There should be four weekdays instead of five? Are you trying to get an extra day off, dude? What's going on here? For me personally, I'd love to have four weekdays or five, but I work seven days a week, dude. Who the f said bacon sucks? Somebody said that they don't enjoy bacon. What is wrong with you? The word moist is not cringeworthy, okay? Normalize people saying moist. Normalize it, okay? You guys are the ones that made it weird. That's your fault, okay? Well, there you have it. That's unpopular opinions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. I hope you learned a little bit about me. Some of these were so dumb. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. We're on the road to 10 million subs. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because we're not even close.